chapter eighty nine of the book of jasher then spoke joshua this song on the day that the lord had given the amorites into the hand of joshua and the children of israel and he said in the sight of all israel thou hast done mighty things o lord thou hast performed great deeds who is like unto thee my lips shall sing to thy name my goodness and my fortress my high tower i will sing a new song unto thee with thanksgiving will i sing to thee thou art the strength of my salvation all the kings of the earth shall praise thee the princes of the world shall sing to thee the children of israel shall rejoice in thy salvation they shall sing and praise thy power to thee o lord did we confide we said thou art our god for thou wast our shelter and strong tower against our enemies to thee we cried and were not ashamed in thee we trusted and were delivered when we cried unto thee thou didst hear our voice thou didst deliver our souls from the sword thou didst show unto us thy grace thou didst give unto us thy salvation thou didst rejoice our hearts with thy strength thou didst go forth for our salvation with thine arm thou didst redeem thy people thou didst answer us from the heavens of thy holiness thou didst save us from ten thousands of people the sun and moon stood still in heaven and thou didst stand in thy wrath against our oppressors and didst command thy judgments over them all the princes of the earth stood up the kings of the nations had gathered themselves together they were not moved at thy presence they desired thy battles thou didst rise up against them in thine anger and didst bring down thy wrath upon them thou didst destroy them in thine anger and cut them off in thine heart nations have been consumed with thy fury kingdoms have declined because of thy wrath thou didst wound kings in the days of thine anger thou didst pour out thy fury upon them thy wrathful anger took hold of them thou didst turn their iniquity upon them and didst cut them off in their wickedness they did spread a trap they fell therein in the net they hid their foot was caught thine hand was ready for all thine enemies who said through their sword they possessed the land through their arm they dwelt in the city thou didst fill their faces with shame thou didst bring their horns down to the ground thou didst terrify them in thy wrath and didst destroy them in thine anger the earth trembled and shook at the sound of thy storm over them thou didst not withhold their souls from death and didst bring down their lives to the grave thou didst pursue them in thy storm thou didst consume them in thy whirlwind thou didst turn their rain into hail they fell in deep pits so they could not rise their carcasses were like rubbish cast out in the middle of the streets they were consumed and destroyed in thine anger thou didst save thy people with thy might therefore our hearts rejoice in thee our souls exult in thy salvation our tongues shall relate thy might we will sing and praise thy wondrous works for thou didst save us from our enemies thou didst deliver us from those who rose up against us thou didst destroy them from before us and depress them beneath our feet thus shall all thine enemies perish o lord and the wicked shall be like chaff driven by the wind and thy beloved shall be like trees planted by the waters so joshua and all israel with him returned to the camp in gilgal after having smitten all the kings so that not a remnant was left of them and the five kings fled alone on foot from battle and hid themselves in a cave and joshua sought for them in the field of battle and did not find them and it was afterward told to joshua saying the kings are found and behold they are hidden in a cave and joshua said appoint men to be at the mouth of the cave to guard them lest they take themselves away and the children of israel did so and joshua called to all israel and said to the officers of battle place your feet upon the necks of these kings and joshua said so shall the lord do to all your enemies and joshua commanded afterward that they should slay the kings and cast them into the cave and to put great stones at the mouth of the cave and joshua went afterward with all the people that were with him on that day to makeda and he smote it with the edge of the sword and he utterly destroyed the souls and all belonging to the city and he did to the king and the people thereof as he had done to jericho and he passed from there to libna and he fought against it and the lord delivered it into his hand 
and Joshua smote it with the edge of the sword and all the souls thereof, and he did to it and to the kings thereof as he had done to Jericho. And from there he passed on to Lachish to fight against it, and Horam king of Gaza went up to assist the men of Lachish, and Joshua smote him and his people until there was none left to him. And Joshua took Lachish and all the people thereof, and he did to it as he had done to Libna. And Joshua passed from there to Igalon, and he took that also, and he smote it and all the people thereof with the edge of the sword. And from there he passed to Hebron, and fought against it, and took it and utterly destroyed it. And he returned from there with all Israel to Debar to fight against it, and smote it with the edge of the sword. And he destroyed every soul in it, he left none remaining, and he did to it and the king thereof as he had done to Jericho. And Joshua smote all the kings of the Amorites from Kadesh Barnea to Azah, and he took their country at once, for the Lord had fought for Israel. And Joshua with all Israel came to the camp to Gilgal. When at that time Jabin king of Chazor heard all that Joshua had done to the kings of the Amorites, Jabin sent to Jabot king of Midian, and to Laban king of Shimron, to Jephal king of Achpash, and to all the kings of the Amorites, saying, Come quickly to us and help us, that we may smite the children of Israel before they come upon us, and do unto us as they have done to the other kings of the Amorites. And all these kings hearkened to the word of Jabin, king of Chazor, and they went forth with all their camps, seventeen kings, and their people were as numerous as the sand on the seashore, together with horses and chariots innumerable, and they came and pitched together at the waters of Miram, and they were met together to fight against Israel. And the Lord said to Joshua, Fear them not, for tomorrow, about this time, I will deliver them up all slain before you. Thou shalt hoe their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. And Joshua, with all the men of war, came suddenly upon them, and smote them, and they fell into their hands, for the Lord had delivered them into the hand of the children of Israel. So the children of Israel pursued all these kings with their camps, and smote them until there was none left of them, and Joshua did to them as the Lord had spoken to him. And Joshua returned at that time to Chazor, and smote it with the sword, and destroyed every soul in it, and burned it with fire. And from Chazor Joshua passed to Shimron, and smote it, and utterly destroyed it. From there he passed to Akshapf, and he did to it as he had done to Shimron. From there he passed to Ajulam, and he smote all the people in it, and he did to Ajulam as he had done to Akshapf, and to Shimron. And he passed from them to all the cities of the kings which he had smitten, and he smote all the people that were left of them, and he utterly destroyed them. Only their booty and cattle the Israelites took to themselves as a prey, but every human being they smote, they suffered not a soul to live. As the Lord had commanded Moses, so did Joshua and all Israel, they failed not in anything. So Joshua and all the children of Israel smote the whole land of Canaan as the Lord had commanded them, and smote all their kings, being thirty and one kings, and the children of Israel took their whole country. Besides the kingdoms of Sihon and Og, which are on the other side of Jordan, of which Moses had smitten many cities, and Moses gave them to the Reubenites and the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Manasseh. And Joshua smote all the kings that were on this side Jordan to the west, and gave them for an inheritance to the nine tribes and to the half-tribe of Israel. For five years did Joshua carry on the war with these kings, and he gave their cities to the Israelites, and the land became tranquil from battle throughout the cities of the Amorites and the Canaanites. End of chapter 89